2015 has been a big year for the art world, both on and off the streets. The rising festival circuit, the growing acceptance of muralism is taking this art movement into places you just couldn't have imagined it being a few years ago. And of course, with this never ending stream of new people coming and getting involved, it's making it harder and harder for artists to stand out. The core strength of this entire movement is built not just on aesthetic and talent, it's built on the stories, the placements, the concepts and the people. I've handpicked five of my favorite pieces from across the world for 2015. I don't for a second expect everybody to agree with them, but that's the whole point, isn't it? Let's get that conversation going. Coming in at number five, we have this collaboration between Puerto Rican artist Alexi Diaz and the Chilean artist Inti. Now, collaborations are a great way for artists to push their styles, push how they work. And sometimes it works and sometimes not so much. And for me, this was a perfect example of how the two artists can fuse their styles and their imaginations to create something genuinely unique. Now this was done back in November in Sao Paulo in Brazil for the Obra Festival. Lily of the Valley is Guido's representation of the very well-loved and popular Ukrainian feminist poet Lesia Ukrainka. It's been an incredible year for the artist himself, but this piece for me really just stands out. And of course, living in London myself, we just don't get to see walls painted on this scale. Painting 16 stories high, I can't imagine, is an easy feat. And it's been an incredible year of artistic progression from Guido, and I can't wait to see what he's got in store for us next year. At number three, Axel Voigt. The Spanish artist has been quietly killing the scene for a while now, but really came in hard in 2015. So much so that he was invited to take his mediocre project down to Western Supermare to play a part in Banksy's Dismaland exhibition. Artistically, that's some pretty serious stripes, aren't there? Personal highlight for me though was his depiction of an older woman in Chennai in India. A powerful example of how public art can be used to celebrate the everyday. By painting a 20 foot mural of someone in the middle of the street, you're forced to remember who these people are. And just through this constant visual representation and repetition, we start to change the way that we might see the people around us. And that is the power of public art as a tool. And Axel is one of the best in the world at the moment for doing this. At number two in the top five street art pieces around the world for 2015, it has to be Evoca. He's a name that will be on the radars of just about every art fan across the world and his 2015 has been incredible. In amongst the countless pieces he's painted around the world, the one that stands out has to be his work in Vienna. Taking a subject matter as divisive and as heavy as World War II can't be an easy challenge for an artist. And of course, to paint this in the heart of an area with this history, you're really setting yourself up for a challenge. The piece itself, it represents an area burdened with a dark history, but optimistic and resilient in its hope for the future. Not only an amazingly talented artist, but an amazing storyteller. I can't wait to see what the future holds for Avoca in 2016 and beyond. As much as we've moved on from that initial hype of Banksy 10 years ago, the artist continues to come out and kill it. His aesthetic, of course, it's never going to match any of the other muralists around the world, but this is the beauty of art in the street, public art. It doesn't have to just be about how talented an artist you are. At the end of the day, the most important aspect of art is getting people talking. And if you can get people talking about something as real as a conflict as deep-rooted as the Israel-Palestine divide, then you can do anything. And for me, that is why Banksy's piece this year in Palestine has to be my favorite piece of 2015. I'm gonna leave you just now with a few more notable mentions that maybe just missed out in my cut. Hope to see you guys soon. She was a little strange.